Hello dear viewers, hope you all are doing good. Welcome to my channel where we are exploring everything commerce and I am Anusha Naikwad helping you to make your concepts easier. So we are studying chapter 1 of statistics, second year PUC, YT statistics. So in this chapter we have covered measurement of population and in our previous video we looked into what is fertility and what are different measurements of fertility. And among them we concluded and we studied solve problem of our first fertility measure that is crude birth rate. Today we will be looking into the second measurement that is general fertility rate or GFR. So when we studied about CBR, we studied about life birth and total population. This population includes both male and female. But don't you think when we are speaking particularly related to fertility rate, we have to consider more specific related to female or women. So to overcome this disadvantage, we will be studying about GFR where we will be considering life birth and particularly women. Again, women of childbearing age. Childbearing age, right? So what is GFR? Average number of live birth, live birth occurring to 1000 women of childbearing age. What is our childbearing age? 15 years to 49 years. So GFR, the formula is number of live births in a year divided by total number of women. Only female population is considered when we are calculating GFR. Only female population is considered when we are calculating GFR. Whereas for CBR, we consider both. That is total population. So, number of life birth in a year divided by total number of women of child when age into 1000. It can be like B of summation 49 years to 15 years female population into 1000. So this is our formula you can make note of it and we will be looking into the problems related to GFR again the GFR is very simple easy to calculate does not need much information and again here we are calculating particularly related to women or there is information about sex composition whereas there are disadvantages like It does not help us to compare fertility of two localities, right? There's no comparison and again, there's no age composition. There's no particularly for different age group we are not calculating. We are calculating togetherly for 15 to 49 age group. So let's look into the problems related to GFR that is general fertility rate. So this is a problem related to GFR where age group, women population and life birth for different age groups has been given. The one more thing to compare here is like the childbearing or the life birth occurring from 15 to 19 is 800 whereas it comes on dropping for 45 to 49 it will be only 10. So the entire scenario of women population and life birth is given let us find out GFR. First let us write down the formula of our GFR that is GFR is equal to total life birth in a year by average women population of childbearing age in a year into 1000 
again it is very important to remember that childbearing age starts from 15 and is at 49 if they are giving any information from 0 to 14 or after 50 and above we are not considering that information we are not considering that female population we have to only take into account from 15 to 49 so female population will be 1 lakh and life birth will be 7200 substitute the other GFR short formula can be birth that is B summation 49 to 15 female population right into 1000 so life birth 7200 7200 by 1 lakh into 1000 so it is 72 72 life birth for 1000 women of childbearing age 49 to 15 female population right nothing we have to just take the total number of life birth to the total number of female population substitute the values in our gfr and find the value what is gfr so this 72 is the total number of life birth that is occurring to total 1000 individuals so this is it for today's video if you have any confusions you can put down in the comment section and i'll be help you out so see you in the next video happy learning